There's a moment in episode three where what we experience in the first two episodes begins to really snap into place and send the mind running. And it's a discussion about quantum physics versus classical physics. Obviously, I don't want to spoil what's discussed, but I'm interested in how much science and mathematics play into your work. Peter, when you're writing dialogue, dramatic beats, and narrative flows, does it feel like building an equation? Are you breaking things down to their particles, or is it more organic than that? And, and Michelle, same for you as a, as, from a director's perspective, bringing it all together in that ticking clock aspect of your, your directed episodes. I think it's a bit more organic than uh, than that, and I I tend to I tend to start with I tend to start with like a couple of um, key moments or, or or character beats that I want to tell, and then um, and then it's it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle for mm. for, for me. I kind of um, slot it in uh, as I go because I don't. I mean, I don't think my my brain doesn't work mathematically or, or 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 scientifically particularly it's it's a it's a lot more um organic than that but as far as the kind of the real science in in the series goes it's got it does have an underpinning of genuine uh like quantum physics and even though we don't necessarily reveal it or talk about it very much it's um the rules of the series kind of definitely adhere to like uh, theories and and you know probabilities of uh, of how quantum physics works and and perhaps how the universe uh, works and you know maybe if we get if we get more series we'll uh, we'll we'll unpack that box a, a, a little bit more but it's yes it's uh, it's there quietly in the background. Mm. I, I we just add that there's actually I, I think your question is is really intriguing because there's actually. I feel a mathematical element to directing in that mm -hmm. we deconstruct and then reconstruct and, and that's what yeah. we have to do, especially when you're doing an action sequence. But we look at it as a whole and then we have to break it down into the minutia and re and rebuild it. And obviously emotion always leads and, and point of view and, and, and everything, but I, I do always find it somewhat uh, mathematical. I you have to forgive me, like I'm such a meticulous film watcher. It's kind of a benefit and a hazard to watch something and be like experience it as you want me to experience it but since I'm doing interviews most of the time I'm trying to really get granular with it and there's like a beautiful moment and I, I wanted to ask about some of the details when uh, Joe drops a glass thinking it would float and it's just like one of those things where you're like wow like I wouldn't think of like what sort of what the after effects of all that would be and it just feels so human and so I wanted to ask about creating some of those human moments um, with the details whether it's like these poetic things that kind of happen in the background whether it's a painting um, there's always something that's kind of getting the mind racing and so I'm curious about crafting those moments and if you maybe have a favorite that's still kind of getting your mind racing today. Secretly I kind of like view writing TV a bit like writing a novel you know I kind of I, I think about it with 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 all these kind of um, different layers and I and and I you know I like I like things that operate on a few different levels um, at the same time and that moment with the with the glasses uh, you know that does happen that kind of thing happens to astronauts when when they come back not only can they not yeah. walk properly not only have their muscles wasted but but they but they're used to a completely different reality actually and um, yeah, that, I mean that's a that's one of my favourite moments as well because uh, you know it's it's <laughs> you know it's very unexpected that somebody would just let a glass go in in uh, in midair and uh, expect it to float, but it, but it's very uh, human as well. I've got loads of moments that I like in it, but that, I mean that's I'm bound to have loads of moments that I like in it. Yeah. Michelle Michelle's better place to uh, to the, identify them than I. Well, no, I would just say that. Um, we, Scott Kelly was was our uh, astronaut consultant, and we tried to incorporate uh, things that happened in space differently than they would happen on Earth. For example, mm -hmm. when Paul is is uh, has to be operated on, I, I asked Scott. I said, "How would you secure him to the ISS?" And he said, "Duct tape." 
because yeah. there's there's no resistance and you just need to keep them still and I thought oh that's so interesting so we did try to incorporate those things that seem seemingly normal on earth mm -hmm. are not in on, in space and vice vice versa which I thought was really clever and so much of that was built into to the script and and also trying to incorporate a lot of Easter eggs but as far as favorite moments I have so many favorite moments but I have to say one of my favorite is when uh, Joe sees Alice in the mirror and in the bed and then she goes yeah. into the bathroom I mean and and Alice is in the bathtub and she goes in the bathroom and Alice is gone and when I first read that I was very excited about shooting that scene because I thought oh I know how we're gonna do this and we, mm -hmm. we we actually did it in in one shot and we went and, and rehearsed it rehearsed it rehearsed it and you know different people are in the bathtub and in the mirror and all that kind of stuff and it it ended up of course being a collaboration of of uh we had to put somebody in the mirror but it was it worked it worked really well and it was very simple it was very very simple yeah. and i said i really love that moment um but there's so many i mean peter okay i'm gonna i'm gonna out you on something we were in morocco filming the uh the the Kazakhstan stuff and Peter calls me and says I'm gonna add a new scene and it was the helicopter uh -huh. scene mm -hmm. and I read it and I was like oh my gosh this is incredible this is amazing and uh, when Joe and Alice are in the helicopter and all of a sudden mm -hmm. they don't see each other and it was so powerful because it's the promise of more it isn't yeah. just happening to Joe and um, and that was really really uh, exciting. I don't know what suddenly spurred you to come up with that, but it was brilliant. It's because we <laughs> couldn't afford to shoot in a swimming pool. Oh, that's <laughs> we, right. That's we had a right. great we had a great scene in a swimming pool, and uh, yeah. you know we, we that's couldn't right. afford that. That's right. We had to come up with a different ending. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? That's a, a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 